afternoon guys sunny afternoon beautiful sunny day i'm out with the dugmeister just a little potter today we are um testing the wyatt e160 we have got the fox 38 on a 160 drop we have a 155 drop shock box round the back we have you can see there but we have electric gears that is your battery pack it's on 29ers um, annoying no screen a few more stuff to put onto it it's running a Bosch the 750 smart system so um, I won't have anything other than Bosch so yeah it's um, bike test day today we've got the mud guards on it you know my little as I call them my little piss flaps so we've still got the mucky nuts on now we've got the front flap so that's all good just getting a little bit of getting used to it the bars are wider and the electric gears feel a bit strange um, it's got the new shaped motor on it which is sealed is not the word I mean I think you could submerge that underwater and you would not get any in it or if you do there's something wrong with it so um, yeah so today is just a uh, potter about um, test day see what it's like I managed to get 80% of battery in um, before coming out um, so we have a potter when we get back we're gonna turn these tires into tubeless I've got the valves I've got the gunk Doug's got the pump happy days let's get this um, tubeless and feel a little bit safer I haven't had inner tubes for a long time so uh, just a little potter we're gonna head down there see how it performs no million miles today I've got even balancing on this feels a little bit more weirder um, so it's just a matter of uh, getting used to ride so um, yep yeah, so there it is guys there it is the Wyatt 160 the 2023 model the Fox 38 Looking good. 500 mil bottle only just sits in. Um, I might have to pick up something like a, a side, a side one for it. They're only 12 quid. <coughs> I want to get one today, but the only problem being was they only have a left side or left, and I'm not a left hander. I'm a right hander. It means I'll have to have a drink, go to left hand, and then put it in. So uh, just getting a bit used to now turning. Um, rear forks rear shocks off and on because it's in a completely different position compared to cube now you can't adjust you can adjust down here where, where were it dug we there. can adjust here and basically we can do the adjustments um, to put 27 and a half inch wheel on back also inside it because the battery goes up and slides in uh, and in there it is designed to put a 500, a 625 or a 750. Either one just slots into place. Bob's your uncle. Bada bing bada bum. So you've got a choice of three. So if you wanted a backup battery what was smaller and lighter, you could buy a 500 put it in your rucksack instead of carrying a heavy 750. So that's a bonus. So, Doug, shall we continue? Left. Down. Let's go. We're going down. We're going down. This should be fun. Not just for Doug, but for me on this bike. My God, this feels weird, man. Yeah, this bike is taking some. Feels weird compared to upper. I don't think the handlebars being so wide helps. Yeah, the handlebars on this are a lot longer than the other one. I'm just having a little bit of trouble. Just um, just feels like I'm you know trying to control it feels too wide for me 
I think uh, my other ones were 720. Um, these are eight. So there's quite a big difference on each side when it comes to gripping, um, you know, width. So yeah, the shifters bars and the bars are gonna have to definitely get shortened a little bit. And I've got a little bit too much bounce on front shockers at the moment. And, and I need to let, to let a bit of air out and just alter the dampener. So. That's where we're at anyway. Just wait for Doug. Not come down here before us, Doug. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be taking it steady. It's a bit tricky. So Doug's just having a, a little tickle on bike. Um, we have worked out that the handlebars are at 800 mil, so they need coming down. My on the other bike was 720. What are you thinking, Doug? Yeah. Bars are massive. Yeah, they are big, aren't they? Yeah, there's the second opinion. The handlebars are big. So we're just coming up past Cat Place now. We just um, just let a tiny little bit of air out at front. Uh, we've played around with dampener on this. Um, yeah, with the bars being so wide, it's making me go like, whoa. Then, you know, um, balancing, uh, not, as, not as easy as normal. So, yes. Other than that, nice ride. Just a matter of setting it all up to how I want it, really. That's the objective today. Just a little potter. tubeless by tea time peace out baby wait you wait you nice view I don't know what this is called Pondon Reservoir Pondon Reservoir there you go Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me get off it. Doug Soft is doing his. Um, oh, I can't get off that way. There's a wall in way, isn't there? Honestly. Yeah, get a leg over, lad. There's a car slowing down. It work okay. Just having a look at bike and just for his YouTube channel. So um, yeah, it's a cracking day today. Absolutely cracking. We're going to just go get up on Pennine Way. We're not doing a million miles, like I say, it's just a test day. But I do need to shorten these handlebars. It's an uncomfortable ride when you're not used to something at 800 mil when you're used to 720. So uh, they'll be getting sawed down a little bit. So. But other than that, yep, just um, more trial and errors to set up the suspension on how I want it. So, all will be good. So, uh, yeah, just a small pot of today. Hope you're enjoying the little video anyway, just a bit of a try the new bike out there. Good, climbed up a bit. <sighs> so, I stopped at the fish and chip shop. Doug's got some chips, I'm getting a fish.
How's your chips, Doug? Hey. How's your chips? Good. Good. Hey. Nice chunky chips. That'll do. I was just waiting for my fish to get cooked. Six quid, but I ain't fancy one, so that's what I'm having. It'll do for me. Take a swift to your left down here. Follow me. I didn't think I'm going to fit through there on these handlebars then. Didn't think I was going to fit. <laughs> so we're just heading back now. Just had um, fish and chips up at the up at Main Street. Not far away from home now. Then we're going to strip these tyres down and we're turning them tubeless. Whew. Hard work with a big fish in you. That's what she said. Anyway. I'm going to jump up on the Provident up here. Down, take a left. Come out of the bottom of Tim Lane, go up Tim Lane. Happy days. Whew. Just heading up through. Got a Tim Lane, take a right. Up to Oakworth. And we're on our way and I'm going up here in Turbo. I'm going in Turbo, I've got a fish in my stomach. I want to keep it there. I'll find that car struggling more than me. I just said that on camera. <laughs> it's struggling more than me, is that car? <laughs> <coughs> Little one litre three cylinder. Yeah. <sighs> Alright guys, so we're calling it a wrap. I'm in wrong gear, no I'm not. So yeah, we're gonna call it there's Doug. And we're gonna call it a wrap for today. Not a big one, probably 18 miles by the time we get back. And um, yeah, bike test day, summer's day. Had a chilled afternoon. So a couple of dickheads. It's been a good afternoon, ain't it, Doug? Aye. a couple of dickheads calling his bit. That's the one. <laughs> Did you see how he shouted at that cycler? No. That was just pure rude. Yeah. To say he didn't know you. Yeah. Anyway, hey guys, so don't forget, subscribe, follow, like, share with your mates. You know the drill. Come on, I've got over 300,000 followers now. So I thought I like 300. Well, it sounded good when I said it, didn't it? Yeah, hey, impressive. that sounded good with that. You were impressed, oh, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, so come on, guys, get subscribed and we'll keep doing what we're doing. Right, well, take it easy, guys. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of summer if we go in to get one. See you later. Peace out. <laughs>